living a dream, kid. A dead wife to pine for. A sense of purpose to your life. A romantic quest that you wouldn't end even if I wasn't in the picture. I have to believe in a world outside my own mind. I have to believe that my actions still have meaning, even if I can't remember them. I have to believe that when my eyes are closed, the world's still there. Do I believe the world's still there? Is it still out there? Self-deception is the act of fooling yourself into believing something that is not true or denying aspects of reality to avoid discomfort or cognitive dissonance. Stay away from me. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's gonna pop. Signs of self-deception includes rationalizing or justifying your actions or beliefs, ignoring evidence that contradicts your beliefs, minimizing or dismissing, the effect of your behavior on yourself or others. Avoiding self-reflection or introspection to maintain a preferred self-image. The program reinforces their delusion of grandeur with money, resources, benefits, a sense of security and protection by using their self-deceptive nature to enhance their own self-image. They're brainwashed with positive reinforcement that further evolves their self-deception and brings about more conviction to protect that deception even till death. That is why when the target is provoked and someone gets hurt or killed, all you will hear when the perpetrators speak about the incident, they say, it didn't feel real. I didn't believe this could happen. Two students say after driving home to the north suburbs, mm -hmm. it all still seems surreal. It's definitely scary and I'm going to definitely think about it for a long time, probably forever. And we were just kind of like looking out the window like, like what's going on, like this doesn't feel real. I'm definitely still in a lot of shock, so it doesn't really feel real yet. It just kind of feels like I came home. Because they are not living in the real world where cause and effect exist. For every action is a reaction. They are conditioned to live in a different reality where accountability isn't applied or reinforced and bad behavior is rewarded. None shall interfere. Do as you please. It's easy to lie to someone when they already fooled themselves. So they live a lie to protect themselves from the truth which allows them to act immoral while maintaining a clear conscience. They feel what they are doing is wrong, but can't help themselves because of their narcissistic nature. The program strokes their ego. They fear the program turning on them more than they fear you going against them. They can't imagine and don't want to believe that everything that they are told is a lie and that they are wrong. So they believe what they're doing is right to protect their self-image, which is why none of them like to be recorded. They get rewarded by the program, so it reinforces their conviction to want to do more, moving further away from the truth, pushing shame, doubt, guilt, dignity, morality, common sense, and critical thinking in the lower parts of their mind. In result, they become brainwashed slaves. The trauma the program exposes them to on a daily basis does something to the perpetrators that's unspoken. They lose a part of themselves every time they commit. This is why most of them is on heavy medication. Alcoholics smoke a lot of cigarettes. They are stressed out. See, the mind is a powerful agent. It's dangerous. The mind has trouble letting go. I've seen it before and I'm sorry. And it's easy to lie to someone that fooled themselves. They become so lost that they will put their kids in harm's way or sexualize their kids to attract predators. They don't believe that's wrong. They don't want to hear the truth otherwise. They don't want the program to be exposed because that will expose them. The program is the identity. The program is their life now. And they will fight tooth and nails to protect the program. This is the reality targeted individuals got to accept. As long as the program exists, they are not your friend. They are not your family. Everyone you know has took on a new identity and is brainwashed to believe or else they die. The Matrix is a system, Neil. These people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged.